Hey everyone, time for another convertible heel review. Today I'm reviewing Tanya Heath Paris. They're touted as the world's first multi-height shoes, boots, and sandals with interchangeable heels. Tanya started working on the concept in 2009 and finally launched her business in 2013. I'm lucky enough to live within driving distance of their Toronto location. And since the designer, Tanya, is Canadian born, it's great to support another Canadian. I love how many different style options they have on their website, including pumps, sandals, boots and booties, and they're all made in France. Because Tanya Heath Paris is considered a luxury brand, it's the most pricey shoe I've ever purchased. Their options range from about $300 to over $1,000 online, but I was lucky enough to find these boots at an incredible discount, which I'll describe later. Unboxing these shoes were a treat. You can really tell that they carefully considered every part of it. Tanya even included a handwritten thank you card, and the tissue is branded, and the heels come in really cute baggies. And the bags even have two individual pockets, so the heels themselves don't knock together and scuff one another when they're in the storage bag. Like I mentioned, the system is for fully interchangeable heels. When you buy the shoes, it doesn't come with any heels whatsoever, not even flat heel caps. You have to purchase the heels separately. I purchased two different heel styles. The first is the Black Christophe, which is the sturdy medium height block heel at four and a half centimeters or just under two inches. This is matte and kind of rubbery, so I think it's fairly hardy and it will take abrasion well. It's a simple, practical, everyday heel. And the second set of heels I purchased were the Gold Metallic Francois, which is their highest stiletto at eight and a half centimeters or almost three and a half inches. I can wear these for more special occasions. At first, I almost went for their silver or their rose gold, but because many other Tanya Heath styles of shoes tend to have a gold accent or gold piping, I figured that if I'm ever lucky enough to own another pair of shoes from them, then I won't have to purchase new heels to match. I can wear the gold ones and it will coordinate well. And I love how the Francois heel is curved in the back and it comes in so it's directly under my center of weight. It makes walking so much more comfortable. The only complaint I have about the metallic gold finish is that it can come with small imperfections and it can eventually wear down or scratch off. But this is not unique to the Tanny Heath brand. It's pretty much to be expected with uh, any kind of metallic or chrome finish that's on a smooth plastic surface. Other heel options that I didn't purchase include Damien, Daniel, Denis, and Stefan, which encompass different widths and six different heights. If you count all of the color options, this makes for over 150 different heel options and combinations. What I read on the website was that the heels and shoes are named after Tanya's family, friends, and colleagues who helped make her brand a success. The shoes are named after women, and the heels are named after men. Some of their listings even include a short story about their namesake. The style of boots I purchased are the Margaret Black Stretch Velvet from their vegan collection. Although I'm not personally vegan, I know that there are quite a few who watch my videos and they would like non-leather shoe options. But Tanya Heath Paris is committed to providing options for everyone. They say that their non-vegan options are made from leather salvaged from animals who are already killed for their meat, so there's less unnecessary waste. I love the inky black finish of the Margaret boots, even if the velvet means that I can't wear them when it's wet outside. And of course, it's wet for like six months out of the year in Canada because there's so much snow. But the versatility of the boots mean that I can wear them pulled up, scrunched down, or folded over to create different looks. Some brands of convertible heels only offer sandals or pumps, so I'm really happy to add some boots to my collection. But if I'm being quite honest, the part that I loved most about the Margaret boots was that I got them for like 75% off the original price. These babies sell for $595 Canadian on their website, so almost $600. But I had got it for a bit over $120 during a clearance sale. Now let's talk about the mechanism for changing the heels. It's different from any other brand, and apparently, according to Tanya, it took a team of 14 engineers and designers about three years to get it just right. Instead of there being a visible latch somewhere on the outside of the shoe, the button that releases the heel is actually inside of the shoe, at the heel. 
Unfortunately, it's hard to see inside of the boot, so I can't really show it on camera. But if I had pumps or sandals, it would be much easier to see. You can feel the button though, and you can push down hard on this to allow the latch to release. On the heels, there's a bar that catches this latch when you slide it onto the boot. At first, the latch was very stiff and it needed some working in. And I was worried at first because the first couple of times I wore these boots, just breaking them in around my place, it seemed that when I put my full body weight on the heels, sometimes I'd hear a couple of clicks and the heel would slide off. So granted, I probably weigh more than a lot of their Parisian customers, but I shouldn't by any means be over the weight capacity. And believe me, I read the directions, I watched the videos online, I pushed on the heel hard to let it set in properly, and I heard that click to tell me that it was secure but there were a few times that the heels did fall off when I was wearing them around the apartment. This seemed to happen more often when I was wearing the lower Christophe heels, since when I'm in the Francois stilettos, there's more weight distributed to the balls of my feet and not quite as much on my heels. But as I wore these shoes in more and more over a couple of weeks, the latch became less stiff and I found that the heels were able to hold on more securely. So you can see in this video, after breaking my shoes in, I'm even able to run and stomp and jump in these shoes without fear of the heels falling off. While some customers have said that they can go without any heel on one of the sandal options, for instance, I personally wouldn't go heelless in these boots due to the arch that's built right into the sole of the boot. It would probably cause your toes to pull upwards at an odd angle, and I just find it more comfortable and more flattering to simply wear it with a lower Christophe heel. So with this particular technology, with a button on the inside of the shoe, it means that no one can tell from the outside at any angle, not even look looking up at the bottom of the shoe. Nobody would know that these would be interchangeable heels, which makes it a very chic and elegant looking design. But it does mean that one has to take off the shoe in order to change the heels. You can't just change them anytime and anywhere in like a, a dirty metro station or a public bathroom, for instance, uh, because you can't take off the shoe. So that makes it less convenient. It would be a lot easier to do this with pumps or sandals, but <laughs> getting these stretchy boots on and off is a little bit of a workout. In terms of sizing, I found this to run a touch small. I normally wear a European size 7, but I got a 7.5 and this boot is still a little snug on both the foot and on the calf. So if you have more muscular calves or if you want to wear socks with any of their shoes, then I recommend going half a size to a full size up from your usual. But if you're lucky enough to live near one of their boutiques in Toronto or Paris, and you can go and try on the shoes in person before buying, obviously that would be best. But overall, I absolutely love the versatility of these boots, and I'm thrilled to add them to my collection of convertible heels, especially because Tanny Heath is such a big name when it comes to transformable and interchangeable heel shoes. I'm really grateful for their sale, because otherwise I might not have ever been able to try them. So check out the description below for some links to Tanya Heath and see my playlist if you'd like to see some other reviews for heels and shoes that transform. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all next week for another video.